Welcome to How to Dress for a First Date. You're probably wondering, why am I in my car? Is she dressed for a first date? What's happening? Stay tuned after the show reel and stay to the end and I'll give you some key tips. <laughs> you can't feel too much. <laughs> so the challenge I see is that when we get ready for a first date, we wanna look our best. But here's the thing. Right now, I just got done doing a work video conference, right? So I did an interview on YouTube, and this is all they could see of me, except the background was blurred, you know, because I was on Zoom, so they didn't see this, like, backdrop. It just looked beautiful and blue. But what they don't know is whether or not I'm in yoga pants or whether I'm in a dress. So I chose to wear a skirt. Why? Because I know how I wanted to feel. I know what suited me. And this is the thing about a first date. A lot of people say, here's the level of makeup to wear. Here's how to look classy. Here's how to look sexy. Here's how to look professional or whatever it is you're trying to portray. But the challenge overall is, eventually, they're gonna see you as you truly are. Another reason you have to be yourself right away is someday they might catch you doing something like I'm doing right now, which is, eating peanut butter directly out of a jar because I'm out of food to put it on, so, and I want peanut butter. What do you do? I'll tell you, if someone can't love me because I'm eating peanut butter, they're probably not gonna be a good partner for me. Just saying. Eventually, they're gonna see you as you truly are. So really, when you go on a first date, wear something that you are super confident in yourself. Make something that makes you feel vibrant that makes you feel alive, that makes you feel special. Why? Because it's a test. If they don't like you because of what you're wearing, is that really the partner you want for the rest of your life? And I'm not saying it's good or bad, right? I mean, if one of your values is that you want a partner who dresses up classy or is always dressed up fancy, and who really cares about their appearance, that actually might be a good fit for you. Then obviously that's how you want, and you care about that for yourself. Then I'm not saying don't dress up nice. But what I am saying is if you want someone that's going to be as accepting of you in yoga pants and no makeup and sitting eating Doritos on the couch, <laughs> right? As they are of you when you're dressed up for a nice evening out on the town. That's what you want to think about as you're getting ready. So when you're going on a first date, what you're really trying to show somebody is how confident you are, how strong you are, how vibrant you are. And also you're evaluating them. Remember that if you don't, it doesn't lead to a second date. It doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. It also doesn't mean there's something wrong, nothing wrong with the second other person, right? It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the other person either. What it means is you're not a good match. And that's okay, right? You're looking for the person that you want to respect and love and care for you just as you are. So if that means finding somebody who doesn't care that you're barefoot as you walk and that your feet are sometimes dirty, that's amazing. If you think this is crazy and disgusting, well then you're not the partner for me. So if that means you like walking barefoot along the path with dirty feet in your skirts, you want them to accept that, right? But in all serious now, as you get ready for your first date, I want you to think of a couple of things. Number one, what makes you feel like you look good? Like you're confident? What fits the date that you're going on, right? Because how you dress is good depending upon where you're going. You're gonna dress differently for a movie than you would for a fancy dinner. You're gonna dress differently for a hike. But also, throw some extra clothes in your vehicle or in your bag. Be prepared so you stay warm in case it gets cold. Or you can take off a layer if you need. But overall, feel confident in what you're in and know that if a second date doesn't happen, 
that's okay. In fact, not only should you be confident in what you're in, let's say you do something embarrassing on your first date, like you spill a glass of water on his lap, or you say something and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. I wish you'd take it back. Because we all do that. This is actually a test for the person you're on a date with. How do they respond and react? Because if they're gonna judge you for every word you say, if they're gonna criticize you, if they don't wanna hang out again for a simple human mistake, that's not someone you wanna spend your life with, is it? Wouldn't you rather spend your life with somebody who recognizes that you make mistakes, that allows you to apologize and laughs it off? That's not gonna be critical of you? that realizes you're human and you can realize that person is human as well, wouldn't that be a much better way to live your life? So as you prep for your first date, keep those things in mind. If they're judging you, well, then they're judging you. Have your own confidence. Know that you deserve a strong partnership, someone that's gonna care for you, accept you for all your faults, and who's gonna be as kind to you as you will hopefully be to them. So I hope this gives you a little bit of confidence and clues on what to wear and how to interact on your first date. So go ahead and comment below. What did you decide to wear on your first date? How does it make you feel? Where are you going? Empower yourself. I'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe and like this channel if you're interested in learning more about how to have good, healthy relationships and a great dating life. I'm Dawn Bennett with Nature of Relationships. Thanks for watching.